the lovely sound and visions of the beer belching. The beer belcher. So right now, here we are. It's been about 22 hours away from actual brewing. This is a Kolsch extract kit, if you can tell by my lovely handwriting. I'm using a new yeast on this one. It's actually a Kolm yeast from Le Brew. I've never used this yeast before, so we're trying this one. This is actually fermenting in my garage. It's probably about 68 degrees in here. Maybe a little bit closer to 70 during the daytime. Probably dips down to 50 at night. So this one should be popping for the next couple days here. I actually did a video earlier today, but it rotated it so it didn't fit in the phone on the screen properly. This is my second chance. This beer should come in around five and a half, six percent alcohol. Of course, I did my usual bomb on it. I dumped another 3.3 pounds of liquid malt extract into it. Should get the ABV up to about eight, eight and a half percent on this guy right here. It's actually sitting next to another beer that I have here in the garage, right here. This one is a Belgian male, and this one's been out here for about a week already. You can still see it's still a little bit pressurized in the airlock. If I just press down on the lid just a little bit here, um, it's still belching a little bit. It's still uh, somewhat regulated uh, with the pressure. I reused the lid on this bucket since I had to peel it away. And uh, same thing with this one here, but this one's popping pretty good. So I'm expecting this to go for another couple days, maybe a week. Uh, depending on the temperature, I'm hoping it doesn't get warmer. It's been about 70 degrees in the daytime. The highs for the rest of the week are supposed to be about 60, potentially 65. So it usually stays about 10 degrees colder in the garage. These are positioned on my workbench. Probably about four feet above the concrete. If it gets a little bit cooler, I'm going to assume this one's probably going to start jumping a little bit more. As you can see, it's quite active. Hopefully, I don't blow the top on this one. Since it is a sticky mess of syrup inside the bucket. Uh, hopefully, we'll be drinking this one in uh, five to six weeks. Straight out of the bottle.